I mean, guys, I even thought myself, like, I'm paying $20,000 for a Birkin. I may as well do, like, a leather course and learn how to make my own Birkin at this point. Like, hey, guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. I really hope I can do this video today, guys, because my voice keeps failing, but... I wanted to share with you guys a bag I got gifted from Murta and I thought it was perfect timing because this morning I was thinking of a topic that I would want I really wanted to discuss with you guys um I made a video the other day about my unpopular opinions with handbags and one of my unpopular opinions was that the handbag market is gonna plummet and bags on the pre-love market are gonna go down in value and the only reason I think this is because I feel like brands these days they're mainly the big three like perhaps Louis Vuitton like Dior um, Gucci Chanel in particular uh, they're they're not being as innovative as they were perhaps in the 90s and the 2000s and the craftsmanship isn't as good as it used to be and because if they I feel like if they continue down this uh, path of not creating bags that like break fashion or uh, help our life or just are uh, they're improving on the styles that they've already released i feel like uh, the future of handbags is gonna be impacted because people are gonna get bored from handbags because nothing interesting or different is coming out and it's just um more about churning out bags that are going to sell because they advertise them on, through influencers and it's just about the um, designer label and that sort of thing. So I feel like over a, you know, a long time, perhaps the market is going to change. And I also think that because people perhaps might get sick of these designer brands and the games that they play and the quality kind of going down, maybe people will look to more local made brands. And I thought, oh, well, what is a local made brand in Australia? Like, in terms of handbags and I'm actually not sure I know Oriton used to be made in Australia but I don't think it's made in Australia anymore it's now made in China and I would love to do some more research on local made brands in Australia in terms of handbags because I really cannot think of any but um Merta reached out to me it's a platform where you can purchase handbags that are handcrafted full grain leather uh, from lesser known brands and I think this is a really cool idea because you're able to access um, a beautifully handcrafted bag for the fraction of a cost of a designer bag. And I think this is really the future of handbags because as people get a bit over designer labels, I think at the end of the day, as a handbag enthusiast, you just want a beautiful, well-made bag that um, kind of isn't too trendy and classic. And you want to think that is wearable and versatile at the end of the day. Like that's why I started getting more into Hermes bags and more low-key bags like you know the her bag and the lindy um they, they have minimal branding on them but i find the designs to be uh quite unique and you know they've got the little hardware details on them and the leather is beautiful the craftsmanship is beautiful you know it's all handmade so that's why i like hermes bags but there is a part of when you invest into an hermes bag you are you know also paying for the label you can get a handmade bag for a fresh fraction of the cost because you're not paying necessarily for the label so um, i was looking through the merta website and yes this bag was gifted to me and i ended up choosing a baldrini uh, bag so um this is an italian label established in 1955 they're kind of famous for this shape which i actually noticed it on mel and melbourne's channel with his team of skilled craftsmen uh, Scandino knows how to put his stamp on any bag, creating products of outstanding quality and value. Every bag is one of a kind, like those who wear it. So I'm going to show you guys this bag now that I got from the Murta website. And it is this gorgeous little uh, bag. And I chose this one because I feel like it looks like kind of like a shell. And I've never seen another brand do this kind of design before. I think it is quite innovative the way that they've cut out these pieces and hand sewed it together. Also the leather on this is this beautiful, it is like kind of like a box calf, but it has this really nice leather smell to it. So it's like a, yeah, you can tell it's like kind of a box calf finish, but it's really, it's this really rich color. So and as you can see here, it has the Baldrini um, embossing on the front. So it's a very subtle branding, but I think that is quite pretty as well. It's very old school, almost a vintage vibe. And I absolutely love it, guys. I think it's a really low key and unique bag. I think it would be really cool if they did this bag in like other colors as well, like maybe even like 
multicolors, like kind of like the Loewe puzzle, how they do different colors on the different pieces. Like it'd be cool if they did, maybe they have done this, but I just think it's a really unique design. You can also get a version that's a full circle, but I chose this one because it looked a little bit more like a a, a typical saddle bag or something. So yeah, it's kind, it wasn't kind of too statementy, but I think it's really pretty and that I would actually use it quite a lot. I also love the little um the little clochette you get with it. That's a very beautiful little detail there. And you can see all the little uh, hand stitching on it. So it's, yeah, it's got a lot of beautiful details on it. You open it up and on the inside, it's this beautiful uh, leather interior. Well, that's just the raw leather. And you've got like kind of like it feels like a, it's kind of a soft uh, interior. So it's really gorgeous. And inside we've got the uh, Baldrini Cellier uh, little swing tag here. Oh, and it's in Italian, so unfortunately I can't read it. Okay, here we go. Our products are made entirely in Italy with all Italian materials. Yeah, it's beautiful. So it's actually genuine Florentine Vachetta leather made in Italy. Isn't that cool, guys? Um, yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh, I think the artisan wrote a little note on it. What? Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Oh, that's really nice. Like, honestly, guys, like, you'll never get this at, like, Hermes or something. Like, their craftsman writes you a little note. That, that's so beautiful. And look at how they piece all the pieces of leather together here. Really beautiful piece. Like, honestly, guys, I actually want to buy more from this brand. I noticed that they also have, like, little bag charms that um you could add to these bags which are super duper cute so let me just try it on it does have a few adjustable um holes here so you can just pop oh it's perfect it looks really nice i'll just show you guys the strap drop so i'm 164 centimeters tall but on me it falls about here so it's a really gorgeous piece yeah it's really nice like it definitely can fit like a phone so I have like a bigger phone here, try it in here, fits everything, you can fit in a card holder here, sunnies, yeah, I love it guys, this is really, really nice. So I do have a little discount code in my uh, description bar, uh, so check that out guys, you can get 20% off um, on your first purchase at uh, Myrtle. They also have so many other beautiful uh, brands on the website. There was a lot of bags to choose from, and I, I couldn't even decide. But, yeah, I ultimately went with this one. I think it's really gorgeous. I cannot wait to wear it. Um, The leather smells beautiful as well. And I think, considering it's a handmade bag, uh, the, the price is really amazing. Like, you couldn't even get, like, a wallet from Hermes for that price, so... Yeah, it's just incredible. Uh, so uh, thanks, Myrta, for gifting me this beautiful bag. Um, and guys, what do you think about um, like local made brands? Are there any in your community that you know of? I think it would be awesome. Um, even if I did a video on Australian local made handbag brands, um, are there any that you know of, guys, that I could talk about in my videos? I think it would be uh, cool to explore those as well um, because I always talk about the big brands like Louis Vuitton and Chanel and that sort of thing, and ultimately those are the videos that get, you know, more attention. But um, it would be cool if the handbag community um, kind of talked about more niche brands as well because I think uh, some of the most beautiful things you can discover are right in front of your eyes sometimes. So instead of like begging for a bag at the boutique maybe uh, we can discover uh new up and coming labels and i mean guys i even thought myself like i'm paying twenty thousand dollars for a birkin I, I may as well do like a leather course and learn how to make my own birkin at this point like we spend so much on these handbags and i imagine that as time goes by there will be a lot of people who actually want to learn how to make handbags and i think it would be so cool if we could support um you know, up and coming designers and, and people who, who want to make, you know, designer bags. I mean, I would love to know how to make a designer bag. I think sometimes I think, what if I had my own bag brand? Like, what would I do? What would I, how would I change the market? Um, obviously I can't make bags guys, but it's something I do think about. So 
I'm sure there are other people who think about it as well and I think it's good to support those people so anyways guys thanks for listening to my video today apologies about my voice I don't sound like my usual self but uh, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you on my next one. Bye.